Hey guys, welcome to another video and what you're looking at right now is our new studio setup. Now, it's been a while that we haven't uploaded regularly, you know, from a time where we used to upload two to three videos a day to a time where we almost didn't upload for two weeks. Well, things are going to get better because not only we are adding the Redmi Note 10 Pro to the channel, but we are going to add a couple of more devices as well. Now, recently we made a poll yesterday on which I asked you, should we retire the K20 Pro? And I got a strong no from most of you. So yes, at least for the next three months, we're going to keep this device and that's what today's video is about. We're going to talk about MIUI 13 with Android 12 on this wonderful phone that is the K20 Pro known as Rafael and Rafael in. This is an install and preview. We will follow the step-by-step -step install instructions and tomorrow or day after you will have a complete review on this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So before we begin the video, I would request you to please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now let's see what we have on our hands. We have Abix ROG MIUI 13.0.1 stable with MIUI 13 and Android 12. This has been updated on the 5th of April 2022. Now if we look at the change log here, you will see it says initial Android 12 build. So this is Android 12 with MIUI 13 and it is 13.0.1 stable. There is just one hiccup, which we will talk about. Now it says all languages are supported. Memory extension is working. Now this is the hiccup that I was referring to. Now for the pop-up camera to work, you have to use a Chinese app that is included in this particular ROM, which means you will have to use this ROM with root access. So safety net and all those things, we will talk about them in the full review. Now they've also mentioned over here, use Gcam or any other third party camera for selfies. So that is something you'll have to live with for now till the time they actually go ahead and fix this. Fingerprint working and the same fingerprint twice or thrice to get better accuracy. And it is pre-rooted with Magis 24.3 and always on display is working. Now what they also mention is screenshots are available in the download section. Clean flash is recommended. Now the first boot they say will take seven to eight minutes, but I'll show you in this video, it takes less than that because I've already installed it. In fact, I'm already on this particular ROM. Now they do mention always make an Android backup and be safe, right? Now with that taken care of, let me tell you what all needs to be done at your end in order to ensure that you have a clean and successful flash. First of all, you need a K20 Pro, which has an unlocked bootloader along with TWRP installed. And the recovery in question is Orange Fox Recovery's latest version. The link for the same can be found in the description below along with the ROM and the DFE link. Now that brings us to the second topic. What files do you need? You will need the ROM itself and you will need DFE. Those are the two files that you'll need. Things that you need to take care of. Make sure all your data is backed up because we're gonna wipe everything, including the internal storage. Make sure you have more than 50% battery. You need a USB cable and a computer, of course. And once you have everything done, you can either, you know, copy the files to the phone's internal memory, or you can copy them on a USB pen drive and use it with the OTG cable, just like me. Now, one last thing that you need to take care of, if you're on a normal custom ROM, remove your lock screen, face unlock, fingerprint unlock, all the security. And if you're coming from an MI, you know, also remove your Gmail and your MI account and reboot the device once. Now, once you've taken care of all of those, you are good to go. So press and hold volume up and power to boot into Orange Fox Recovery. The moment you see the MI logo, you can let go of the buttons and you should be booting into Orange Fox. All right, now, as you can see, we are in Orange Fox Recovery. So let's go to wipe, Dalvik cache system vendor data. I'm wiping internal storage because I don't have any information on there. If your files are on the internal storage, don't wipe it. Swipe to wipe. Okay, now let's go to the main screen, go to install and select the USB OTG because remember that's where our files are. So first we will flash the ROM itself. Swipe to confirm flash. Now this is a file which is around 2.5 to 3 gigabytes and on a phone it will take at least 45 seconds to a couple of minutes to flash. So please be patient while that happens. And after this, the only thing that we have to do is we have to flash DFE, format data and reboot and should be good to go. But there is a small step between that to have a successful boot. So let's wait for the flash to complete and then we will follow the remaining steps. All right guys, so as you can see, the flash is done and needed to go to the home screen and then flash the DFE file. It's a small file. It'll take about a couple of seconds to flash. And then what you need to do is once again, you need to go to the main screen. Let's wait for this to be flashed. 
and it is done so go to wipe all right so now go to this menu here click on manage partitions are all right now go to wipe click on format data and type in yes there you go format data is done and we are good to go now now once this is done you can go ahead and click on reboot system now okay now once you click on reboot system now you will get sort of a boot animation sound and abix rog logo after which what you need to do is once you've seen that for the first time 5 to 7 seconds the boot logo is flashing you need to press and hold the power button till the time the phone reboots that is called a cold reboot is what we are going to do or a force reboot because of which the rom will boot much much faster now as you can see it is trying to boot up okay now as you can see this is the abix rog logo the boot animation sound is here the logo is completely loaded now press and hold the power button and keep it pressed till the time you see the mi logo okay right so the redmi logo is here leave the button and let the phone boot now this will not take more than 2 to 3 minutes but please be patient while the first boot happens let's wait for the phone to boot all right now just like that we are on the home screen it is asking me to enter my mi account password now this was done intentionally to show you guys that you should actually go ahead and you know sign out of your mi account always whenever you are flashing a new rom now i'll quickly enter the password and we will skip all the settings so that i can show you that we are actually on mi 13 with android 12 Okay, we will select English United States over here, and I'm going to quickly skip through the setup part. So India, you can select any region of your choice. Privacy policy. Okay, we are connected to phone ops. All right, now it says setup complete. You are ready to rock. So let's go to the home screen and let's quickly go to settings. As you can see the Abix ROG theme there. Abix ROG info says MIUI stable 13.0.1 ported by Omi, and all the device specifications are present. Let's go to all specifications. This, of course, is Android version 12. As you can see, the Android 12 Easter egg and the security update is the 1st of February 2021. So this right here is a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to install the latest version of Abix ROG edition, which is based on Android 12 and the latest MIUI 13. I'll be soon reviewing this ROM and a lot of other things that are included in this ROM. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.